Footage of a Ukrainian kamikaze drone attacking a ship in the seaport of Kaspiysk in Russia's Dagestan Republic been released. The image circulated on Telegram channels was taken from the attacked ship. As a result of the strike, a powerful explosion occurred, which caused panic among the ship's crew. It should be noted that this is the first drone attack on the Republic of Dagestan, located 1,500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. No casualties were reported. Footage of a Ukrainian kamikaze drone hitting a seaport in the Russian Dagestan Republic has been released. The footage, which was shared on Telegram channels, was filmed by local residents. A powerful explosion occurred in the port after the A-22 kamikaze drone hit. There were no reports of casualties during the incident. It is worth noting that this is the first attack by a Ukrainian drone on the Republic of Dagestan since the start of the war. The city of Kaspiysk is located 1,500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. There was a drone attack on the city of Kaspiysk in the Russian Republic of Dagestan. Local telegram channels reported this. This is the first drone attack on Dagestan since the start of the war. Ukrainian A-22 aircraft type kamikaze drone struck the port in the city. As a result, an explosion occurred in the area. There is no information about the casualties. Footage distributed on Telegram channels shows one of the drones being shot down. It should be noted that the city of Kaspiysk is located 1,500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Three flights were delayed at Makhachkala airport due to the drone attack. <laughs> A Russian captive in Ukraine said that North Korean soldiers opened fire on their troops in the Kursk region. A fragment of the interrogation was published on his Telegram channel by Ukrainian journalist Denis Kazansky. The occupier says that his unit was based near the Russian village of Glushkovo. Everything was fine with them until the Koreans were brought in. You can't talk to them. They started shooting at us, maybe in panic, because they mistook us for the enemy. Russians all looked the same to them. Slavs. 
During the assault, the Koreans started firing at us. The unnamed Russian soldier said, We tried to explain to them where to aim, but I think they shot two of our own. I decided it was better to surrender in this situation than to be killed by our own bullet, the soldier added. He is hoping that friendly fire wasn't so friendly after all, he added. According to the captor, the Russian military command does not respond to complaints. In addition, it is easier for them to send Russian soldiers, not North Koreans, to storm the area. There will be a scandal if they die. I am not delighted with such allies, he added. Andriy Kovalenko, the head of the Counter-Disinformation Department of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, said on Monday that the first North Korean troops in Kursk have come under fire days after NATO and the U.S. confirmed their presence. Geopolitical analyst Viktor Kovalenko, a Ukrainian military veteran, told Newsweek that Putin is turning to North Korean troops not as a tool of winning the war, but as a tool for solving urgent policy issues and propaganda. He's also buying time to postpone general mobilization in Russia or wait until the negotiation of a peace agreement pending the outcome of the U.S. presidential elections. Kovalenko said Pyongyang will get money food and space technology from Russia in return for their contribution to Putin's war effort, the Korea Herald newspaper reported on Sunday. It cited Wee Sung-lak, a South Korean lawmaker, it said, had been briefed by the country's National Intelligence Service, NIS. North Korean soldiers will also get $2,000 per month salary, making a price tag of around $240 million a year if 10,000 soldiers are deployed. He said, Russia plans to form at least five 2,000 to 3,000 strong units manned by North Korean troops integrated into formations with ethnic minorities from Russia's Far East regions to conceal their presence. Sergei Kislitsia, Ukrainian ambassador to the UN, has said, 